Fire is a powerful force. It can be life-saving or life-threatening depending on how we handle it. But did you know that not all fires are the same? Different types of fires require different methods of extinguishing and using the wrong approach can make things worse. In this video, we'll break down the classification of fire, explain each type and discuss the best ways to combat them. Stay tuned. This knowledge could be a lifesaver. Before diving into fire classification, let's quickly recap how fire works. Fire is a chemical reaction that requires four key elements, heat, fuel, oxygen and an uninterrupted chemical chain reaction. This is known as the fire tetrahedron. Remove any one of these and the fire goes out. Now, depending on the fuel source, fires are categorized into different classes. Let's explore them. Now, we will talk about class A fires. These involve ordinary combustible materials like wood, paper, cloth and most plastics. These are the most common fires you might encounter in homes or forests. To put them out, you can use water, foam or ABC dry chemical extinguishers as these methods cool the flames and remove heat from the fire tetrahedron. Next up, class B fires. These involve flammable liquids and gases. Think gasoline, oil, paint or propane. Water won't work here. In fact, it can spread the fire. Instead, you need foam, CO2 or dry chemical extinguishers which smother the flames by cutting off oxygen. Remember, never use water on a grease fire in the kitchen. That's a class B hazard. Moving on to class C fires. These are electrical fires caused by faulty wiring, overloaded circuits or malfunctioning appliances. Since water conducts electricity, using it here could lead to electrocution. Instead, Use CO2 or dry chemical extinguishers, which are non-conductive. Always cut the power source first if it's safe to do so. Now, let's discuss Class D fires. These are rare but extremely dangerous. They involve combustible metals like magnesium, titanium or potassium. These metals burn at extremely high temperatures and ordinary extinguishers won't work. Instead, specialized dry powder extinguishers are needed to smother the flames without reacting with the metal. Finally, we have class K fires. These are specific to commercial kitchens and involve cooking oils and fats. If a pan of oil catches fire, water will cause a violent explosion. Instead, use a wet chemical extinguisher designed for kitchens, which cools the flames and creates a barrier to prevent reignition. A fire blanket can also help smother small grease fires. Before we wrap up, here are some crucial safety tips. Always use the right extinguisher. Remember the pass method? Pull the pin, aim at the base, squeeze the handle and sweep side to side. Store flammable materials safely and have an emergency plan with clear exits. Working smoke alarms and a designated meeting point. Prevention is always better than reaction. Understanding fire classification can make all the difference in an emergency. Now you know how to identify different fires and the best ways to extinguish them. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Share it with friends and family and don't forget to subscribe for more life-saving tips. Thanks for watching and stay safe.